Hey guys, it's Tarkin coming at you with another game of Hardcore Minecraft. And uh, picking up here in the world again, the sun rises, a new day dawns. And of course, with that, a plan for the future. The plan is to plant these potatoes, very important uh, part of the plan. And then we are going to, uh, we're going to strike out using a boat that I probably have left around here somewhere. We're going to uh, strike out into uh, the distance. Do I need to be cooking? That was the hiss of an enemy. Here we go. A spider. Anyway, as I was saying before we were interrupted, uh, a spider. They were not slain with the morning, but it looks like that's basically all of the the danger that we've got. The cat is zooming around excitedly, but we're just going to uh, go ahead and move out once we plant our taters. And uh, we're just going to go to the other uh, towns and start uh, the long process of emerald uh, trading and consolidating of the wheat. Oh no. I guess I could be eating a potato, but you know, the bread I should actually probably be saving for throwing at villagers since I have so many pork chops and I don't think they use those, but my goodness, amazing. The wheat already grown up a little bit and I clumsily smashing some more of it. That is old enough, but the other one wasn't because you can sort of see a little bit of darkness in it. You can F3 it to see the age. Seven is the age of... Uh, of wheat that is uh, ripe for the harvest, but if you hit slightly younger wheat, you can uh, get worse results or no results. But we'll just uh, go over to this side and plant a little more over here by the sugarcane sort of uh, area. And now it'll be time to move out once we just plant a little bit more. Of course, sugar cane, I'm not going to need like a million of it. I haven't got a million of it in my other world, but I have got, you know, more more than 20,000 sugar cane over time. Uh, I hope to have picked a million sugar cane one day. You know, life is very long, as T.S. Eliot memorably pointed out. And we're just going to hop in the boat and go for the first of the villages, which will be over in the distance. Or if we see like a shipwreck, uh, we can check that out. We don't have a door on us, which is pretty poor choice for exploring. We don't have any wood. We don't have any torches. This is all um, what I would call very careless. If I if I was in uh a place that i didn't understand but i actually do know this area a little bit not the ocean although there's definitely something going on over here that'll be a little archaeology site i might have witnessed that one before but but forgotten but i know that we've got uh you know more villages to to run to that are, are not that distant you know we've got one there we've got another one over here So I do want to check out this possible chest here, but I first want to take a wider look around and make sure I'm not going to run into any uh, beasties. It's possible that I might have even looted this one before. This is uh, the problem with memory is when everything shares a lot of uh, similarities, hard to remember what sets them apart. All right, first, I just want to look at this gravel. Are any of them... There we go. That one's called Suspicious. I need to get up real quick or I'm going to be part of the suspiciousness, but we're not that far underwater. All right, so we will come back to that. And I, I might have been somewhere else, but... This one looks like an even bigger tower. We're just going to look around real quick, make sure that there's no baddies. Is there like an internal... Uh, Ah, with bricks, just like the terracotta people would have. Curse of Vanishing, 
and I'm going to need to get up really soon because we're about to take just a little bit of damage. It's not going to be the end of the world, but we've got several minutes left in the day. Where did I put my boat? Where did I put my boat? Oh, no. What have I done? Uh, good news. I've mislaid my boat, and we're in the middle of the water. Um, all right. What could have happened? Ah, it was struck by magma and fell to the bottom. That's all right. We'll pick it up, go to the surface. That's uh, that's pretty annoying. That's probably a thing that everybody knows happens to them, but I don't think it's ever happened to me. If it did, it certainly didn't happen to me, you know, on a hardcore world where it all feels very important, even though I was in no real danger, except, you know, from drowning, which is its own very real danger. But there's, of course, a, a village over here. Of course, uh, th that's not obvious uh, yet, but it will be soon. That it'll, uh, it'll start showing up there in the distance. And then there's another one up there on that mountain uh, or that ridge line. And then over further still, there will be another village eventually up there, up there on that mountaintop. But we're just going to run to this one. Um, these were all found in, in sequence, all one after another. So there's going to be plenty of leftover stuff to raid and, uh, you know, seeds to uh, carefully appropriate and and bring to uh, to my central base. And then, you know, just take a look around, too. There's some uh, some sorts of trees that I might be able to see depending on, you know, where where the area shows us we're going to make a uh, sand pillar somewhere Sixteen's not really good enough for a pillar you don't need more than like 30 or 40 for a decent sand pillar although you can see more the taller it is obviously but i also don't want to crack my shovel immediately we might want it for something oh that was the hoe that was why it was not uh picking it up that quickly so potentially something interesting down there. I worry about the the deep because I never really played with monsters on until pretty recently. But I don't I don't know if there's any weird uh, evil uh, squids like uh, I don't know if if I show up in the dark without you know a sea lantern if there's going to be a kraken or something. I I don't think there is. But it would be sad, indeed, for me to lose my hardcore run uh, due to uh, ignorance and carelessness. Although that is almost certainly what will do me in when I go. Ow. And after a couple nice breads... We're just going to make our way into the village, and that's where we'll uh, crash for the night. Not for the video, but for the night, because uh, we're definitely coming on the end of the day before too long. Uh, the villagers have a little uh, pattern that they do, so you can always sort of figure out kind of what time it is uh, based on their behaviors. The armor. So the thing with trades is they they have the different levels that unlock, but internally they're they're identical in strength. So like with the armor, when you're just trying to level them up, you just want one that's got a baseline uh, armor item that's more affordable in emeralds, because then you can level it up. Because eventually, all I'm all I really care about is getting access to the diamond uh, armor and tools through emerald vendors. And I only really need that on one, and I'm probably not going to choose to do that here. But I am going to uh, keep on raiding. We're not going to, like, you know, steal their beds or anything, but... Do I need acacia wood? I mean... I don't want to have to, like, drag myself out here every time I want more, I suppose. But we're just going to uh, 
do a little animal hunting here. And there's a abrasive pumpkins over there, and that'll let me uh, double up on my pumpkins. Although, as I'm looking, I realize that night is falling before too long. Oh, look, a little baby sheep. Well, you know, we'll, uh, we'll let him keep on being an innocent little baby sheep. I don't often see the baby animals in the wild. I, uh... I wonder... If they just... Oh, well, there's another one. Maybe maybe I just haven't been that many places. But I, I just... I feel like I, I very rarely ever see them. But now we've pumpkined up and we're going to, you know, make a dash back to the village. Obviously, I'm not, like, afraid for my life. I'm a, I'm a much more practiced and seasoned hardcore uh, Minecraft player here on my 20-somethingth uh, video. You know, I, I'm no longer the uh, the frightful uh, child of the past. But I still, you know, you gotta, you gotta respect. You gotta respect when you see, like, a lot of skeletons all in one place that you could potentially have a bad time. But we've got a waterfall here, and this actually is gonna be, like, awesome, right? So, uh, that dude's got gold boots. We'll probably steal them. The water does an excellent job of keeping your enemies sort of distant from you. Not if they're creepers, because, you know, I'm an idiot. But, like, uh, so he'll just try to go around it. But if I'm in here, he's not going to, like, be able to access it that easily. But if he tries to come in here, it's uh, it's so slowing on a mob, it would take him, like, ages. And you can uh, you can really take advantage of that if you've got a lot of uh, enemies going on. So this guy looks like he's got some some crazy enchanted armor. It's a uh, mesh or something, but he's the only one we've got to deal with right now, which is good because who knows how long it's going to take to deal with them. It was a chain mail. Okay. The mesh was uh, merely imaginary, but... I need to eat a little bit of bread. Got a creeper to deal with. But anyway, as I was saying, I am really bad at the creeper timing. And only have a sort of like slight grasp on how exactly you can hit them without having them blow up, at least occasionally. But anything over on that side? Oh, we've got a spider. It's going to jump and jump and now dead. We've got a little skeleton over here to deal with. Nope, two zombies first. And another chainmail. Pretty careless to take that hit. It's not a big deal, but still careless. Need to eat a bread. Hunger's going down. Get a little bit of life regen, and then we'll come on, take on the skeleton. But, you know, in the careful way where it shows that I've fought a skeleton before. Five hits, so I needed to wait a little bit longer there. Oh, no. I have just tabbed out of the game. I'm back. But it looks like, in my absence, the Iron Golems are attempting to defend the town. Very cool. That is, of course, their uh, their role in society. This creeper is attempting to, uh, you know, sabotage everything. I just really hate these guys. Why can't they not do that, not do that? I need to start using axes. Because they do more damage, and the creepers, of course, I want to be hitting them a minimal amount of times, and then the the cooldown on the swing won't matter. So that'll be something I'll need to uh, to focus on. But as the uh, as night falls and we've had a a proper uh, fight, that'll be a good time to sleep for the night. You know, we're not laying down because we're afraid of the monsters. We're laying down because we're bored of killing them. I mean, I'm not actually bored of it, but you know, in in the the silly, cocky kind of way, you know.
I wonder what happens in a forge if you burn up chainmail. Perhaps we will see. I think inside of here, all of these are stone. They just look sort of like iron. Yep, they're all smooth stone. Which you don't need. Or I don't need, rather. But that is... Uh... That's about it for this village. Have I really stolen everything of value? Well, not a couple of carrots. Ah, more more hay up here. I, I thought that there should be uh, more more native resources for me to take, and I was correct. And of course, as as you probably know, but as I have failed to appreciate the efficiency of thus far, when the hay bales break down into wheat, they're nine each. So like here in just this place, that's a that's 180 hay, which is just like really awesome. And we're going to go ahead and emerald up a little bit here. And you get an advancement called what to deal. And do I need to do one more for him to uh, level up? You give them just a little bit of time and then they, they have a little swirly of inspiration. And then they, they get a higher level there too. And you can keep on uh, pushing the wheat in, but, you know, he's out of... Uh, we're out of wheat, but we got 10, 10 emeralds out of that. And while I could sell a couple of pumpkins for that, that's not efficient. You want to you wanna use all of your initial pumpkins to grow more pumpkins. But that's uh, that's how the game works. Those That's the, uh, the plan, you know. We're just going to grow things and then get emeralds, and then we're going we're gonna to buy more of them and rinse gradually and then repeat but the next thing that we'll do is make our way to uh, the next village and uh, see about taking all of their stuff. I don't remember the qualities of this village exactly. I don't think it's the one with all of the wolves. I think it's the other one. But we'll strike out over there and see. Oh, that's right, because we have the, the flower forest here. Ah... Uh, I, you know, I it's all coming back to me now. The absolute glory and splendor. Uh, it's so delightful. I, uh, it's funny. Uh, I'm wearing a shirt now that's not black, but like black is my favorite color. Uh, my my stand mixer that I use for baking is black, and you can get them in any color. But uh, but that's the one that I chose. But I, I get such joy out of like uh, all of these orange and red tulips all in a row. But not least because I don't see it that often. But there we, we see it climbing up the side of the mountains, the side of the mountainside. Yeah, I almost said that, and then I did say it. Um, <laughs> but it's. Uh, just so wonderful. I I don't want to die. I want to I want to live forever so that I can keep on playing here. I there's so many things in this game that I don't understand and like I'm just going to like run away from them to try to stay safe so that I can keep on keep on living in this world with my flower forests and my cherry groves. But I mean of course I could just find those in a different place, but but this is where I am now, and I really like it. We're just going to run with this tulip here. All right, there's a little lava pool that is spitting around and burning up. If the stuff gets burned by lava, does it drop loot? This is you know, the important thing to figure out in times of ecological collapse, because I actually don't know. And if it does drop like charcoal or something, that would be like, pretty awesome and terrible where it's like oh then i i burned down a forest for efficiency but it looks like we're not getting any loot at all so oh you can put water inside of a leaf right can you then break the leaf okay Leaves can be water source blocks. The more you know, I you know I'm sure that this is not news to anybody. And I think you you can pour water into lava and it makes like stone or something. 
or water into that. That's what makes obsidian. Ah, yes. So that's an obsidian generator. I just don't have any way to uh, get rid of it. And I've now ruined the lava pool. It's all right. The lava pool will forgive me. There's a lot of lava in the world. Because I, I had, like, made a little sort of ad hoc obsidian mine long ago in my survival world, but I... Uh, I used just, it was a previously existing underwater lava lake and real water lake that were already touching. And that, that's how I even discovered the obsidian water interaction in the first place. Although it clearly didn't make so much of an impression on me that I remembered it. But that that's how I initially had the, uh, the glimmer of realization before, you know, forgetting it for months. Months? Eh. Yeah probably two months at this point. Anyway, the time frame, totally unimportant. This is the sort of thing that I have to remind myself whenever I start telling a story, that when I start searching for the specifics, I, I try to uh, remember to only care about the specifics when they matter. But sometimes it's hard in the moment to remember the difference between important and interesting. Because, of course, anything that springs to mind seems interesting. I don't love what's going on here. I didn't bring torches. I want that iron, but I don't want to peek down in there. Going to do it anyway. It doesn't seem too uh, weird. There's uh, It's not like a big open space, so I don't think I'm going to be taking a bunch of shots from skellies. And now we're just going to walk right back out. Easy peasy. And I really should make some steps to get up here. You know, that those are the steps that are going to be taken eventually to make the world a better place. But right now, it's really just... Oh yeah, of course, this is Nether Portal Village. Uh, the one with a, with a big old dumb Nether Portal right in the middle of it. Because, uh, you know, cause that's what's going on. And I filled in the lava because it was, you know, causing an environmental hazard. And nobody likes that. But another golden apple. We've got a lot of gold here. We probably threw some of our other gold stuff here. But, you know, it might have all been in this place. It's hard to remember. The iron nuggets we can leave. The obsidian... Yep, we're, we're in that situation again where I once again have a totally full inventory. And I theoretically was here to get stuff. Hmm, what to do, what to do. That's right, the, uh, there's the other village that had it on the outskirts. This one has a really large pen for these pigs, which is good, but not that good because I'm not going to uh, try to live here. I'm going to toss the oak sapling just to uh, Grab that. Is there really not any more hay? Maybe I've already uh, looted this place. And moved it away. That's alright. We've picked up some of the things and not other things. I know what a, what a skillful way to sum up what's been going on. I don't really have any interest in going further in that direction. I mean, not right now. Eventually, I want to find out what's going on everywhere, but... I think at this point, we just... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll end the night here, because it's already coming, and then... Oh, all the, the two hay spawns are right here, and there's a ton of it, and I just didn't realize. That's all right. Does anything break these quickly? Ah, the the hoe is the quickest way to break the blocks, so that's nice. Makes sense, given that it is wheat. 
But this is going to let us get just a whole bunch of emeralds again. And once again, the delightful mute button, the best feature of any microphone. I always worry it's not going to work whenever I, whenever I hit the toggle. I really need to get it a, a better microphone, but I know I've said that before. And yet I'm still using this ragged old thing. But, you know, perhaps one day I will live up to my promises uh, and do, do the things that I said I was going to eventually do. But we are going to do, you know, a couple of uh, of those things right now by just careening off the side of this cliff. Do we... Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. We will make a beautiful waterfall. And I think it'll go all the way down. Yes. And this will be a nice way for us to um, to make our way back up. You just I don't know the amount of horizontal space that the water goes, but if there's a vertical drop in that space, it'll keep on going. So you just need it to not fall off and then so here yeah so it drops and then one two three four five six six in a row but if i were to drop this one down and this one down then that's enough to make it keep going like the the water flow doesn't need uh power to keep on going it can uh it just needs the uh the slope But what I need, oh look, pumpkins. I wonder if I have washed some of the other ones away with my with my terraforming. But you know, I bet it looks even cooler to look over here now. Not least because I wasn't planning on it splitting into two sides, but I think it did. Uh, so you know, how fortuitous. But we're just going to go ahead and, and run back. And that'll be, uh, you know, probably the video, but a, a marked success. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Love it. It looks so, I mean, like, I'm sure this is like the lowest form of art in Minecraft is to drop some water on a mountainside and then look at it and say that it's good. But I think it's a very nice uh, vista, you know, it... Uh, it cuts a beautiful portrait that without the water, you know, it just wasn't as nice. And now it now it is a slightly nicer. Good job, me. You know, hats off if I was wearing one. I would I would tip it to myself. But there's no need to do all of the fanfare, given that I'm not even wearing a hat. You know, what sort of formal celebration could even happen? But. Yeah, so even from far away, you can even tell that it's there, which makes sense because they're they're slightly visible, this island and uh, that. And that'll make it a lot easier to, to get up the mountain the next time around. We've got one sea turtle there, so certainly we'll, we'd eventually want to uh, get some more sea turtles farmed up. And we might check the underwater chasm there eventually, but I I really don't even want to go underwater until I get a water-breathing enchantment on a helmet. That would just make me feel a lot better about the idea. So this guy has bad trades. And there's no one around. I don't actually know if they, like, flip out if you break their stuff if you're not on Peaceful. Okay, they just get over it. That's all right. So you can make them lose their job if you uh, if you break their thing when they're at base level. And uh, you can do it repeatedly. And if he's around, he'll just grab it. And then whenever he, uh, whenever he gets one that lets him buy wheat which does exist, which definitely, obviously does exist. 
Because he'll just like go around trying to find a job. But he doesn't want to buy wheat. But this does work. Like there you go. See? Just just like I just like I promised. But And then we can trade him up a little bit. Sometimes uh, you can waste experience uh, when you're just like shift or control clicking things over. So you want to make sure that you're not throwing away your food. But he'll run out of emeralds pretty soon here. And then we would have to wait for him to uh, replenish his stock. But I think we will run out of wheat too pretty soon. So... Yep, but now with with 27 wonderful emeralds, and you could level them up pretty quick by buying the other stuff. But with farmers, the only thing you want is for them to buy your junk. And eventually, you know, you get farmers that'll buy like pumpkins and melons for good exchange rates. But I've never seen a max level farmer have anything I cared about. But then again, like maybe chocolate chip cookies or like uh, golden carrots have special qualities that I'm not familiar with. Perhaps they are. Are truly delectable. I uh, I have never made chocolate chip cookies in Minecraft, but I have made oh several hundred batches uh, of chocolate chip cookies in in real life at this point, and I, I flatter myself that they are excellent. I uh, you know how can you ever really know? How, how good you are compared to other people, but I, I'm pretty sure that that my cookies are are good cookies, and after people have them, that they think that they are good cookies. I, I have a lot of like self-conscious stuff in life sometimes, but not not about the quality of the cookies. Um, if anybody is looking to uh, to learn how to cook, Preppy Kitchen. Uh, has a YouTube channel. That's the name of it. Uh, that's how I learned to bake. And uh, just an awesome, awesome channel. Awesome dude. Uh, really uh, knowledgeable. I like the the structure of the videos and the pacing. You know, it's it's food uh, YouTube videos. So they, they all sort of resemble each other. But I like his spin on it. And I definitely, like, I, I use his recipes and that's uh, so. If you want to know what my chocolate chip recipe is, it's the Preppy Kitchen chocolate chip recipe. You know, uh, 165 grams of brown sugar, 150 grams of sugar, 270 grams of flour, like 3.5 uh, gram, you know, 4.5 grams of uh, baking soda and salt. Uh, I use uh, 220 grams of uh, chocolate chips and 70 grams of uh, mini chocolate chips. Or do you think I'm going to say the whole recipe out loud? I could. I don't. I don't. I don't have to look at it anymore. Uh, I, I make them all the time. But anyway, there, there's also vanilla and one egg and butter. Can't make it without butter. But anyway, I, I of course, am not affiliated in any way with Preppy Kitchen. He does not know who I am. I don't think I've ever uh, commented on one of his videos. I'm just a big fan of uh, his work. And uh, so if you want to learn how to make a truly excellent chocolate chip cookie, don't go back and listen to me like rattling off the measurements of uh, of things. Just find a chicken and feed him some wheat and then go listen to John Canelo of Preppy Kitchen uh, show you how it's done. But now that I have done my, my shout out for uh, a major YouTube channel that will never know who I am based on uh, the happiness they've brought to my life, it seems like as good a time as any to think about ending it. I've got 38 emeralds already. That's, uh, I mean, I'm going to need way more. There's just a ton of emeralds I'm going to need, several hundred, I think, in order to get uh, to where I need to be in the first place, which is access to diamond tools and armor. But I think... You know, we're, we're on pace now. Okay, so the nuggets don't go in at all. They are... They're not smeltable. 
does any of this stuff need to go in? I think you can bake potatoes, but I would rather plant it. The chainmail helmet and the golden boots. Yes, that will be things that we can uh, smelt down, right? Yes. All right. Those nuggets just fell in, but then they don't do anything. So. Hmm. But yeah, this will be uh this will be a good time to go ahead and and finish it up. We'll just put more of our junk in the chests, and then when we return, we'll be able to uh, keep on going. We've got 18 gold ingots. Who knows what I'll need them for? Not me, but we've got them. So after this next phase of stuff, so we'll uh, we need to make more tools because they broke. Do I have any sticks? We will have sticks here. All right, so we make another hoe, which will break in no time because they just shatter. And we make an ax because our old one broke. And then we'll go out for the night and uh, go to plant the pumpkins and then probably have to get into a fight or two before, uh, before ending. I probably already said I was ending like four times. I, uh, look, y'all know I can't tell the truth. It's, uh, it's a problem. I, I have, like, a really, really, uh, historical relationship with, uh, with dissembling when it comes to time. I, uh, I misrepresent it as if, uh, as if the world will, uh, will wait for me to, uh, to figure out what I'm doing. But the important thing in all of it is, you know, the uh, the beauty and symmetry. You know, really, as long as you have two equal lines, everything will be fine. I need to get way more torches because creepers won't want this to be symmetrical. You know, Creepers don't want you to go to the zoo and eat cotton candy seven days a week. Creepers want you to have to replant all of the time. That guy was so easy to kill. The spider actually terribly weak. It looked like they uh, didn't even do a single point of damage when they connected. Obviously, that one didn't connect at all because I got a little better with the timing. But uh, this cat is out in a sketchy, sketchy place. I don't love that for the cat. We are getting up there in levels now. We're level 28. Uh, level 30 is what you need for maximum level enchanting, but I'm going to be... Now, why am I running? I'm running because I got slightly lower on hunger and I realized that I didn't have any food on my hotbar, so I was going to need to uh, put some distance between us. But it looks like... There we go. He, uh, he lost sight of us. He's got an enchanted bow, so we're going to see what that enchantment is. There's a big chasm there. That could have been bad. So is that a golden skeleton or a golden zombie? You know, I'm not gonna... It's a golden skeleton. He's got an enchanted bow and gold armor. And I am going to run away because that actually hurt really bad. Oh, and there's another one out. Us. Yeah, we're just going to... Uh, we're going to drop this fight. Because it is better to be smart than dead. That guy... I mean, he was a zombie. The whole town was infested. Alright. Got the little dude. These are my bane. Oh. 
There's a creeper behind me. All right. Easy. We'll just pop this creeper, go to sleep for the night, and that'll be the video. Just as promised, you know. And by prop this creeper, I mean clearly just use him to uh, actually just as planned. You know, we're going to want to flatten this area anyway, so really that creeper is uh, a valued employee. We're not going to we're not going to gainsay him. But we are going to run in here, tell Garuda that he is a good chicken, best boy, and uh, and lay down for the night. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I really am about to end the video, and you can tell from the runtime that this time I'm even telling the truth. Oh god, now I have to. Feather falling two on the boots, that's good. And we will uh, deal with the implications of all of that at a later date. But when we return, more of the same. We'll go and visit the third of the towns, grab some wheat, do some emerald trades, and then see about uh, cycling through an armor smith and getting uh, the armor that we need. I, I might go for tools first, but I think armor is better. But on, hmm, you know, I'll, I'll just have to think about that, and I'll I'll evaluate where I think it's better to go. You know, is it? how much time I'll really save uh, versus how good it'll be to have proper security. But we'll figure all of that out. It may be that uh, once I get the emeralds going that it's going to be quick anyway. But that will be a question to be solved later on. Uh, just having the best time. Just the, the absolute best time. And uh, it feels good knowing that I'll be able to do this forever and that I'll definitely never mess up.